Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Trades in the Sky The Third. Ich werde jetzt nochmal gerade Julia austauschen gegen Shara. Denn wir haben hier noch eine Tür. Eine Tür, die für Shara bestimmt war. Da, Dancer with Silver Locks. Dann können wir noch ein bisschen was über Shara erfahren. Ich meine, wer soll das sonst sein? Der Dancer mit den Silver Locks, ne? Ja, komm, hier, mach mal ein bisschen schneller. Open the door, yes. Gut, das... Die Sequenz, wie wir da so reinkommen, die kam jetzt auch schon oft genug. I shall grant you, I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. Irgendwie ist Tida gefühlt die Einzige, die so eine Prüfung vorher machen musste, ne? Ihr 1202 of the Septian Calendar. Roland. Okay. Sherazad. Wer, wer ruft denn da? Sherazad. Hm? Guck mal, wer da ist. Olivier liegt da ziemlich besoffen auf dem Tisch und einer ist da. Ist das während der Zeit, wo Olivier halt in Roland war und die ihn zu Tode gesoffen haben da? Oh, where am I? You feeling alright? Sure you haven't had too much to drink? Boy, that dream really brought back memories. Hard to believe I was once that young. <laughs> I see you've gotten yourself nice and plastered. You might want to watch what you're saying though. You're still young, but no one will believe it if you start talking like that. Sh she's right, Shara. I, 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 I. Wow, I thought you'd be out for a while longer, Olivier. <lacht> Let me pull you another glass then. Ihr wollt wohl, dass er schweigt, ne? P -p Please! Mercy! You can be such a monster. Faulkner, bring Olivier another bottle over. Uh, looks like Faulkner's gone and left early again. Fine. Guess I'll have to get the bottle myself. Well, if I'm getting out of my seat, I'm getting the strongest thing in the house. I spy some brandy. Shirazad is literally only just gotten up. At least start him off on some fruit wine before you start bringing out the big guns. He can have both. Problem solved. Spare me. I'll die. Tja, das kann wirklich passieren. Olivier. By the way, Aina. You remember when we first met? How much did you down again? Down? Down what? Booze. We're talking booze, baby. Sherrod began pouring alcohol onto Olivier's head. <laughs> That should go in his mouth, Sherrod. You sure? Oh, silly me! Oh man. Das sind richtige Saufziegen. Five years ago. Das ist Granzel. Ja, ja, Granzel, das kennen wir noch. Ist noch gar nicht so lange her, dass wir da waren. Oder zumindest in einer alternativen Version davon. Making deliveries in a city this big sure isn't easy. Okay, where's next? Erbe Royal Villa? No way, I have to go all the way there? Uh, this is why I hate cities. Okay, das ist scheinbar, als Shara noch in ihrer, uh, in ihrer Junior Bracer Zeit war oder so, ne? Hey, Bracer, out on the job again? Thanks again for the help. You're a lot stronger than you look, young lady. 
You wouldn't have any interest in working for us, would you? You'd be more than welcome. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Really gotta go too. See ya. Yeah. Ach, guck mal, wer ist das denn? Excuse me? Ist das vielleicht unsere Aina? Granzel City. Mein Wecker klingelt. Nice. <lacht> Gut. <lacht> Five years had passed since the Hundred Days Wars came to an end. The scars that left were slowly healing and life was returning to Libel. People gathered in the cities and towns that had returned to their former state and the revived Altman trade brought the kingdom prosperity. Peace was becoming normal once again. Not all that was happening in Lübbel at the time was so positive, however. This was also a period in which corruption was rife in the military. Many of the army's officers at the, at the time cared for nothing but lining their own pockets or gaining power and prestige. Between the development of orbital technology and booming prosperity, much was forgotten. It's just here. Jetzt kommt einer hier und niemand ist da. Hm? Is there no one here? Scheinbar ist sie da selber noch nicht, äh, noch nicht äh, Rezeptionistin, ne? If you have any, uh, if you have a request, please write it on one of the forms to the right and place it in this box. Brazer Guild runs a branch. Können die sich hier keinen leisten? Ist Ellen nicht da? Ich glaube, sie sucht persönlichen Kontakt, oder? Bleibt wohl nichts anderes ruhig. It looks like it. I wonder if they'd mind if I used their phone. Ach, guck mal, Shara. Uh, I'm pooped. I feel more like a slave than a bracer with all this ma manual work getting dumped on me. Oh, hello. Are you here to lodge a request? Yes, that's right. Um, might I ask your name? I'm Sherazad Harvey, a bracer. I'm still a junior one, but I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry about that. Oh my, really? <laughs> you look so young that I had no idea you were an actual bracer. My name is Aina. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, what's the request you want to make? I don't have all the day to stand around chatting. There's only two bracers at this branch right now, so we are very busy. If you can make it quick, I'd appreciate it. Ah, sehr freundlich. Oh, really? I'm terribly sorry. I had no idea you were... Did you not hear me? Or do you need me to explain to you what the word quick means? Oh, oh, my apologies. Well, you see, it's my first time visiting the city. I thought it might be wise to come here and request that someone give me a tour of the main sites and such. <laughs> the size of the place is rather daunting, as I'm sure you can imagine. But with a bracer who knows their way around at my site, I'd be able to enjoy all the gra all that Gransel has to offer without fearing getting lost. You've got to be kidding. Please tell me you didn't actually come here for such a worthless request. Pardon? You seem to be misconstruing uh, what bracers are actually here for. We are not community volunteers or whatever. We have a serious profession and do serious work. And we are also very busy, as I said earlier, so I'm going to have to ask you to look elsewhere if you want a buddy for your sightseeing trip. Um, um, I, I wasn't trying to... Ach, wie unfreundlich sie da auch einfach zu ihr ist. Oh, hell, just go and look around on your own. Getting lost is probably part of the experience anyway. Has this one lived in a box all her life? Typical rich girl. Ach man, okay. Sie verhält sich hier gerade sehr unprofessionell. Besides, I need to focus on doing major jobs so I can get my letter of recommendation from this branch and get promoted to senior bracer. If you find something serious you need help with, by all means come back. Until then, get going. It looks like this isn't going to work. 
I am really, I really am sorry for troubling you, but... Ah, oh, Kurt. Oh, who do we have here? Have you come to make a request per chance? Pardon us for not properly manning the front desk. That's currently my job, but I'm undertaking other work at the same time. Ach, da war Kurt noch hier, der Rezeptionist. Okay. Oh, you don't have to apologize. I'd pay her no mind if I were you. She's a waste of time. She seems to have gotten it into her head that braces are friends for hire. Well, if you excuse me, I'll get out of your hair now. Hmm, please don't leave just yet. Sherazard. Huh? W what is it? Do what she wants. Helping people in need is the fundamental mission of us braces. You've got no reason not to help. What? But we are busy here. I don't have time to be playing your guide, tour guide. I've got more important things to do. Don't worry about the other requests on the board. I'll take care of those. But you're even busier than I am. You're even our receptionist on top of it. You needn't worry about me. Besides, you're still a trainee, which means you still have much to learn. So go. Once you've finished this request, I'll write you your letter of recommendation. What? Really? Are you sure? This seems like way too simple of a job to be awarding something like that for... I thought it was your policy to give 100% to all work you undertake. Well, it is, but... Then I'm counting on you with this job too. Um, thank you very much. Think nothing of it. Take care, you two. Got it. I appreciate your assistance. Na, dann spielt sie halt Tour Guide und kriegt trotzdem ihren Brief. Wenn es nur das ist, worum es ihr geht. This should hopefully do her good. Dass sie mal ein paar Manieren lernt. Und Tür zu. What is up with today? From delivery girl to playing a tour guide for some snooty silver spoon, it just gets worse. I do apologize. I really am putting you out with this request, aren't I? Let's just get started. Ugh, that aloof manner of talking she has just makes me want to smash something. So, where do we want to go? Mm, let's see. I suppose I should go and buy a few things in the Edel department store just in case. In case? In case of what? It's the east block of the city, don't forget. Why would I? I can feel my blood pressure rising already. Ja, vor allem, warum weiß sie, wo das ist und braucht trotzdem einen Tourguide? Ach komm. Ähm, wir haben keine EP, das ist aber blöd. Das finde ich jetzt nicht gut. Das finde ich nicht gut. Wo ist das Hotel? Ich will jetzt ins Hotel gehen. Miss Sherazad, you do know the department store isn't this way, right? We need to turn at the, uh, turn at the guild and enter the east block that way. I can still be reached this way. Maybe so. But it will take us longer. Wer ist hier eigentlich der Tourguide und warum braucht sie einen Tourguide, wenn sie sich hier so gut auskennt? Ha. Huh. So, dann müsste hier ja der Department Store sein. <lacht> oh Mann. Was für eine sinnlose Quest. <lacht> I like how the very first thing she wants to do is blow all her money. So, what are you pl planning to buy? Well, I could probably do with restocking on recovery items for one thing. What? Ja, ja. Recovery item. Wofür braucht eine reiche Frau Recovery items? Mhm. Shara, du machst ja auch deine Gedanken, ne? Please, Adios, I just want this job to end. Hm? Hasn't Kurt read this book? Did he bring it here? A lot of these look really complicated too. Was, äh, wo guckst du hin? 
Guck mal, da sind die, wieder diese Man in Black. Warum versteckst du dich vor denen? Miss, Miss Sherazad? What? You know, there's actually a really famous ice cream stall near here. Have you ever been there? Why would I have? I don't like sweet things. Well, I do and I feel like having some ice cream right now. Let's go get some. Wait a second. Bezieht sie die einfach mit sie hinter sich her. Hm, wer sind diese Leute? Der Ice Cream ist ja hier, ne, nicht hier, sondern auf der anderen Seite vom Edel Department Store, glaube ich, ne? Hier gegenüber. Da. Komm, ich will Ice Cream haben. Einer bought two Ice Cream Cones from the stall. Aber Shara mag keine süßen Dinge. Nicht mal süßen Alkohol. Jetzt wird sie aber gezwungen, Eis zu essen. Ob sie will oder nicht. Jetzt wird Eis gegessen. Did your brain decide to selectively switch off when I said I don't like sweet things? You like this, promise. It's really nice. That's not how it works. It's almost noon. That means I've only got 24 hours left. I'm running out of time. Wofür? Wofür Zeit? Und da sind schon wieder diese seltsamen Typen. Die so aussehen wie die, die auf dem, äh, auf dem Schiff auch drauf waren, ganz am Anfang, ne? It might be a bit risky, but... Hey! What? What are you spacing out and ignoring me for? I was trying to ask you something. Sorry. What was it? You look angry. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? It's really obvious. So come on, out with it. Or are you involved in something you can't even talk to me about? Well, it's just that... I realized I left something back at the hotel. Ah. As if anyone would buy that. Not going to talk, huh? Well, fine, be that way. Can we make our way back there so I can go and get it? Fine, whatever, I'll come with you. At least until I get an idea of what you're really up to. Thank you. Well, shall we be going? Let's go through the south block. Fine. Okay, durch den South Block. Da lang. Hier. Und äh, an der Gilde vorbei. Aber ist, das, ist die, das Hotel nicht im North Block? Ah, okay. Aber durch, aus der anderen Richtung wolltest du hier nicht hingehen. Warum? Rönbaum. Das Hotel Rönbaum. Der Name klingt schon wieder so deutsch oder zumindest skandinavisch, aber auf jeden Fall nicht japanisch. Uh, wait a second. Isn't this the hotel, the building you've just walked right past? Well, yes, but... Aber da sind Leute. Grunzel Castle looks really heavily guarded. I should have known. Mm, there's got to be some way to get past. That way leads to Grantzel Castle. Do you want to go and have a look around it? Y yes, I suppose I do. But, um... Looks like I've almost cracked her. Time to talk, young lady. I want to know exactly what I've been dragged all over the city for. Yeah, this job's such a pain. I'm gonna go and catch a breather outside. Oh no. There she is! What? What's going on? You stay right where you are. Okay, also ist einer jetzt... Uh, protect all NPCs. Ich weiß, wie NPC-Kämpfe funktionieren. Mit, äh, mit Shara muss ich jetzt gerade erstmal... ...aufpassen, dass einer nichts passiert. Während einer einfach nur rumläuft und nichts tut. Oder kann sie mit ihrer heftigen Tasche ihm auf ihren auf seinen Kopf hauen? 
Vielleicht hat sie ja Backsteine da drin. Jo, hat sie. Ups. Ups. Sie trifft nicht. Ach, Mann. Das wäre aber auch eine interessante Waffe. Einfach so ein Koffer voller Backsteine. Ach, guck mal. Ich habe Erfahrungspunkte gekriegt. What the... That guy was no amateur. Ja. Well, they haven't noticed anything yet has happened just yet by the looks of it. It's only going to be a matter of time, though. I need to do something. Look, you. It's time for you to start talking. Who is this guy? I don't wanna want the army to notice anything amiss either. Are you listening to me? Shh, please be quiet. Well, at least now we know she's not on the hotel's guest list. Bah. I figured a rich girl like her would have to stay at a hotel, but I guess not. We just gotta have to start sc scoring the city. From the top to bottom. There she is! Get her! No! Don't shoot! Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, it came from over there. There she is! There's a target! The blonde, get her! What's going on? You've got some serious explaining to do, Missy. Well, um... Let's start running! The hell? Wait! <laughs> Was für tolle Erklärung. Lass uns einfach wegrennen. Aber schon seltsam, dass sie ihn einfach, einfach so durch die, durch die Öffentlichkeit verfolgen. Und niemand sich da einmischt. Hier sind auch noch gar keine Wachen unterwegs, ne? Gefühlt. Hm, jetzt sind sie gleich eingekesselt. Landing Port. Kommen sie denn von da auch wieder weg oder laufen sie jetzt selber in eine Falle? Tja, wo sind sie jetzt hin? <lacht> Unter der Treppe, okay. Tja. <lacht> jetzt rennen sie wieder in die gleiche Richtung. Aber was ist, wenn jetzt aus der anderen Richtung auch wieder welche kommen? Die waren eben nämlich noch mehr als nur die beiden. I think we lost them. Just about... Okay, I've had enough of this. It's time for you to open that mouth of yours. Just who are these guys? Why do they want to catch you? What do you even want? Well... Don't even try and worm your way out of answering. I will hurt you. With this. Th that sounds painful. No use hiding it any longer, is there? They are trying to capture me. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm asking why they want to capture you. Go on, get talking. Let me start from the beginning. I suppose it started about a month ago. My grandfather, who I was living with, passed away. Your grandfather. That's right. He did mention that he intended to leave some of his fortune to me. But the will didn't just say some. He wrote that he intended to leave me everything he had. So, well. A super rich guy leaving his fortune to a young girl. Okay, everything's starting to fall into place. So now every relative you have under the sun is on you, like ants trying to get their share. At the very least, I still think my uncle is a very nice man. He said he wants to look after me until I turn 20, so as part of that, you should let him look after all the money you've inherited. Ugh, unbelievable. Maybe. His eyes when he said that kind of scared me, so I ended up turning his offer down. Wait, hide! Das ist echt unauffällig dahinter, diesem Baum. 
Aber die sind scheinbar wirklich zu blöd, das zu merken. And now someone's hired those men to come after me. If I don't formally inherit this, his money, grandfather's will becomes invalid, you see. Most likely that's the reason they want to capture me, so I'm not able to do that. They're not ordinary street thugs either. They clearly have some experience under their belts. I can't believe they're just able to wander the streets of the capital in broad daylight like this. Just what is the army even doing? One of my relatives has connections in the royal army, so that's probably why. My family is pretty influential, actually. Ah, uh, I'm getting a headache just listening to all of this. Hiring a bunch of suspicious, highly trained underlings to find, fight over inheritance? You don't get more stereotypically spiteful rich person than that. I... I'm sorry. I'm not looking for an apology from you. Still, this really isn't looking good. I might have been able to win the last battle, but I'm not confident I could win another. I think the best thing we can do is try and get back to the guildhouse without getting caught, but I can't see that being easy. Ja, ja, immer ganz unauffällig hinter dem Baum verstecken. Das, ist, das sieht man vor allem auch überhaupt nicht aus dem Augenwinkel. Okay, hat nichts gemerkt. Puh. Okay, hat doch was gemerkt. Come to think of it. I forgot to feed the birds. Feed the birds? I thought it's meant to be taken literally. It's probably some kind of coat they use. Which means... Dass sie entdeckt wurden. Crap! Ja. Yeah. Sorry, this way is a dead end. You've been giving us hell of a lot of trouble, but your luck has just ran out. Hm. <lacht> You're fast, though. I'll give you that. Now grab her! Also doch noch ein Kampf. So, Art. Du kannst keine Art. Craft. Kannst du überhaupt schon äh, eine S-Craft? Nein, kannst du nicht. Hm. Dann greif mal den da normal an erstmal. Du triffst mit deinem Koffer doch eh nie. Also bitte, begib dich nicht absichtlich auch noch in Gefahr. Huh? Kannst du die... Haben wir... Ach, wir haben Terror... Terror Bounce zumindest. Dann sieht es ja nicht mehr ganz so düster aus. Aber die machen trotzdem immer noch eine Menge Schaden. Oh, nice. Das ist richtig nice. Sehr schön. Da, der, der ist erstmal weit genug weg. Dass sie auch tatsächlich mal getroffen hat. So, also greife ich den jetzt nochmal an. Ist der dann weg? Nein, noch nicht ganz. Ja gut, sie hält auch noch ein bisschen länger durch. Komm, jetzt greife ich ihn nochmal an, dann ist er weg. Und sie hat ihn fertig gemacht. Nice. Sehr gut gemacht. Danke, Einer. Hat sie mit ihrem Megakoffer doch noch gewonnen. Well, well, not half bad. I don't think I can fight my way out of this. Are, are you all right, Miss Sherazad? Have you guys still not caught her? Well, well. You almost stood a chance against us. I don't want to be beaten by a bunch of lowlife scum like these guys. Do you have any ideas for getting us out of this? Me? Oh. There's an entrance to the sewers nearby. If we can get to that, we might be able to escape to the west block. That's a huge first floor, though. That's a huge if, though. Okay. Ich habe gerade 1F gelesen. <laughs> first floor, klar. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's go with that. Close your eyes for a second. What are you... One? Two? 
Wh what? What are you? Three. Yo, Landgranate oder Tränengas. What's that? A, a smoke grenade? <coughs> My eyes! Sie hat ihre Augen nicht zugemacht. Habe ich genau gesehen. Ha! <laughs> Ready to go? What? What is this smell? Is this mustard gas? Wait up! Ja, ja, Senfgas. <laughs> Don't let them get away! Why do you even have that thing? And what was the point of knocking that guy out too? It's locked. Get out of the way! Out of the way! Sherazer took out a wire and jammed it into the keyhole. Aha, Schlösser knacken kann sie also. Come on, hurry! Wait, get back here, damn it! Ist jetzt wieder abgeschlossen? Ja, gut. Dann sind sie jetzt eigentlich hier drinnen ja sicher. It's no use, it's locked. Out of the way, I'll get it open. Should I use another of those canisters? I've got pepper ones too. P -p pepper? Do you make these things yourself? I've got a few original blends of my own, yes. They were originally just white smoke grenades. For example, there's this one. It contains powdered laughing mushrooms. Never tried it though. You think it works? You don't need to find out now. It might get blown back in here. Ja, hat sie wohl recht. Ugh, it won't budge. Someone bring an axe. We gotta have to smash it open. The damn bitch. Aber gibt's von hier aus nicht auch einen, ähm, auch einen Geheimgang in die Castle? Aber das wissen sie hier noch nicht, ne? Puh. It looks like we've bought ourselves some time. What were you thinking? What kind of insane maniac just uses a smoke grenade or mustard gas canister or what, whatever it was? See, <laughs> ganz offensichtlich. You shouldn't even be making that kind of stuff. I thought you were a high class lady. Truly? But it helped us get, it, get to safety, didn't it? Well, yeah, but still. Where did you even learn to make those things? <laughs> My grandfather loved collecting books. He had his own personal library in the mansion. I learned all this, all kinds of useful things from there. I take it you're not much of a book enthusiast yourself, so you probably wouldn't uh, have to re read any of these things I have. But there's a famous spy novel I remember reading and it has a scene in it where the protagonist makes their own smoke grenade. She learned it from a book? I take it back, Miss Rich is written all over her naive face. Look, let me make this very clear for your own good. You might have gotten us out of a dangerous situation earlier, but you got lucky. Don't expect that to happen a second time. Don't go getting cocky just because you picked up some mildly useful knowledge from a book that may or may not even have even worked. I don't want to see you doing anything like that again. Are we clear? Yes, of course. That's all. Let's get going. Na dann. Ja. <sighs> Being in the sewers like these always brings back unpleasant memories. Die Prüfung in Roland oder was? Uh, um It feels like my instincts are coming right back, though. Why did she suddenly go so silent? Did I say something to annoy her? Ich glaube, du annoyst sie schon die ganze Zeit. Let's move. When they come back, they'll get that door open in no time. But be careful and stay close to me. There are bound to be monsters here. Right. Okay, wir haben auch wieder unsere HP voll gefüllt gekriegt. Wenigstens das. Ähm Hier stehen Kisten und sowas. Hm. 
Ich habe die Kämpfe jetzt gerade mal draußen. Ich wollte gerade sagen, ich habe die Kämpfe jetzt mal rausgelassen, weil wir die Gegner eh alle noch aus dem ersten Teil kennen. Und die zusätzlich eh alle mit einem Schlag besiegt sind. Übrigens, Shara kann jetzt ihre s -Craft. Okay, ist hier denn irgendwo noch ein Eingang, den ich nutzen kann? Ja, der hier. Terrorbaum. Ich werde auch irgendwann demnächst eins benötigen davon. Hier ist noch eine Kiste, noch ein Terrorbaum. Weil so langsam... Langsam äh, habe ich auch ganz schön Schaden gekriegt. Aber ich denke mal, ich werde nochmal eine Stufe aufsteigen, bevor ich nochmal wirklich kämpfen muss. Die Gegner hier sind ja noch leicht. Die sind ja alle mit einem Schlag schon fast kaputt. Also, ich speichere jetzt gerade nochmal, aber noch eine Stufe, also ich noch einen Kampf, dann bin ich wieder eine Stufe aufgestiegen, wie es aussieht. Ah, richtig. Shara ist noch mal eine Stufe aufgestiegen. In weiteren Kämpfen sehe ich jetzt keine, äh, keinen Sinn mehr. Jetzt hier weiter? Ich glaube schon, ne? Ja. Ich sehe es jetzt auch nicht als sonderlich sinnvoll an, hier alles mitzunehmen. Was man hier mitnehmen kann. Immerhin, äh behalte ich das ja nicht mehr nach diesem... Ach genau, das muss ich erst aufmachen. Immerhin behalte ich das ja nicht nach, äh, nach dieser Rückblende hier quasi. Jetzt drücke ich den Schalter. Lever won't move. Is it not budging? Hmm. Stay quiet for a minute, I'll handle this. Sherazad removed a rock from the bottom of the device and placed her hand inside. Aha. Dann geht das Tor auf und jetzt können wir fliehen. Wow! <laughs> you really are amazing! But not for this. I'll... Uh, but not for this. This isn't all that different from breaking into a safe, to be honest. Really though, you shouldn't be impressed by these kinds of things or getting used to them. Why? There are some things in your life you're just better off not knowing. Ja gut. Um, Shara hatte eine schwierige Vergangenheit, ne? And some things you're better off not being able to do. Was genau meinte sie damit? The entire town smelled like a rotting open drain and was reve reviled for even for a slum. The people who ended up there were largely those who couldn't be accommodated in a prison, those who had been driven out of the cities, geht's gerade um Shara's Vergangenheit, or children who had been abandoned there like yesterday's garbage. I did whatever I had to in order to survive and to live to see another day. Picking pockets at every opportunity was a habit I picked up from a very young age. Anything that caught my eye, I took. But even then, I didn't end up just with enough to live on. There were always men there who were made their who made their living by taking from people like me. The surest way to make money was stealing from the safes of the rich when they were out of their mansions. The residential area full of wealthy people on the other side of the river, accessible through an underground sewer, was a perfect target for this. Every time I felt hungry, I sneaked inside of one of the mansions and made use of the skills I felt like I had known since, since the day I was born. The most important thing to remember when doing this was not to take everything in one go. Instead, the key was to, uh, was to take only a small amount each time, enough to get by, but not enough for the mansion's owner to notice anything what was gone. With a simple piece of wire, I had access to enough Mira to live for a couple more weeks. Before I knew it, I was doing it every day, building up a stockpile of money instead of simply taking what I needed in the short term. And boy, I paid the price for it. I had it all taken from me by the man of the slums and ended up being kicked and stomped on until I carved up blood. Everyone did what they did, or they said they did as much anyway, so that they could keep living on. Manche haben das auch einfach zum Spaß gemacht, ne? 
armor sharer. Always pretending to be desperate as an excuse to live by any means, but always taking the easiest road they could find. The town I lived in was devoid of energy, but full of filthy humans like them, and like me. Again and again, I thought about giving it up. Again and again, I said to myself that I wanted to stop, but I couldn't do it. I hated myself for what I was doing. I hated the fact that I couldn't stop. It was because I didn't want to return to that life that I ended up becoming a bracer. Because if I didn't, I was scared I would end up right back where I was. The troop had saved me from that place and had made me into a respectable human, be human being. But when I lost them, I was afraid. One thought stood out above all the rest. No matter how much I tried to forget, no matter how I used how used I became to my new life, no matter how much I tried to deny it, I was yesterday's garbage from the slums and nothing I could do would change that. And that's it, really. One day I'm sure I'll end up returning there. That's why I need to be strong, to stay strong. What job I do doesn't even matter. Anything I can pour my heart into that will let me live an honest life, it's fine. Anything that keeps my mind off the past, anything that lets me keep the ugliness in my heart at bay, if it makes me strong without relying on others, then it's fine. It's fine. I need to be strong. Stronger than anyone. Stronger than anyone. But am I? Am I really doing alright in my life? Am I really getting stronger? Am I, Lucy? Ah, sie denkt immer noch an Lucy an der Stelle. Miss Sherazad? Are you alright? You're looking very gloomy all of a sudden. It's nothing. I'm fine. As soon as I finish this job, Kurt will give me the last recommendation I need. I can finally become a real bracer. Then no one will be able to tell me I'm not strong. I won't let them. I will be strong. Anyway, we're leaving. Wait a second, Miss Sherazad. Ah, wenn die mal nicht da schon warten. As soon as I finish this job. Sobald du diesen Job finishst, dann hast du es geschafft, ne? Dann kann ich hier wieder durchgehen. Zack. Ah, wo war hier der Ausgang? War der hier? Nein, hier ist eine Kiste. Aber eine Kiste nehme ich auch gerne mit. Falls noch ein äh, Bosskampf oder sowas kommt. Ja, ich glaube hier ist... Wir haben das Ende der Fahnenstange erreicht. Hier ist der Ausgang der Sur. Im Westblock. Guess it's locked. I know it is. Just shut up, you'll break my concentration. Oh, my bad. Sherazad took out a wire and inserted it into the keyhole. Und schon geht's wieder auf. Mittlerweile ist es abends geworden, wie es scheint. Und hier ist das uh, Liberal News House, ne? Phew, we're finally back on the surface. It's evening too. That took longer than I thought it would. We should hurry. Of course. Are you alright though? What? You look kind of pale. Are you feeling tired? Maybe we should rest a little before moving on. I I I'm fine. I've had enough training to handle this level of physical activity. Thank you very much. Don't underestimate the stamina of a bracer. I, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, what the hell? She was never more than a few steps behind me at any given moment. How is she still fine? Ja, in ihr steckt wohl doch mehr, als du gedacht hast, ne? She never seemed out of breath even when we were being chased by those guys, come to think of it. I feel like there were a few times when she was even ahead of me. Huh? What is up with this girl? Is this like nothing to her? 
Are you absolutely sure you don't need to rest? I do have a few snacks on me. Would you like me to share some? It's okay, I I'm definitely fine. Right now, we need to focus on getting to the guild so we can hide out there. Jetzt habe ich das mit dem Food weggedrückt. <laughs> we might have run into a lot of trouble on the way, but the request was to show her around the capital. I've done that. Now, all I need to do is get back to the guild and this request is done. I win. Come on, get a move on. I, I still feel like it would be a good idea to rest at least a little though. Are you certain you're all right? How many times do I need to repeat myself before you get the message? To hell with it all! This is Nile. You're Nile. Height! I was up all night working that damn story. All night. Who the hell does not Noticia think she is? The better the scoop, the hotter it needs to be caught. Does she think I don't know that? Uh. What do you think he's talking about? I've got no more idea than you do. Maybe he's using some kind of code like this man from earlier. He couldn't be one of them, could he? D do you think he could be? Damn it all. I can't be sure. Just look at his eyes though. He doesn't look like a man who makes an honest living to me. I see what you mean. Oh my god, das war der erste Eindruck, den sie von Niall hatte. We've come this far, there's no way I'm letting us get caught now. We need to proceed carefully and deliberately. Let's see if we can find another route. Yeah. Ah, if I remember correctly, that house over there is empty. This way, follow me. Da kann sie wieder einbrechen. Und jetzt? Jetzt sperrst du dich hier ein und dann? Was bringt es? Ihr wollt doch. Ihr wollt ja nicht hier bleiben, oder? For Adios sake. I would have done it already. You to patrol the area at the bottom of the stairs. Ah, man. Den gehört überhaupt nicht dazu. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to call. Wait. He works the villa now, doesn't he? Just my luck. That's ages away. Oh, man. Warum geht das so schnell weg? I swear this job is bad for my blood pressure. <laughs> Ach, man. Und jetzt? Jetzt seid ihr da drin und traut euch nicht mehr raus, oder was? Habt ihr euch selbst in eine Falle eingesperrt? Jetzt ist es schon nachts. Hieß es nicht irgendwie, sie muss das erledigt haben, bevor der Tag um ist? Oder so? Come on! Why are there still so many of them going around? How can we get to the guild like this? I think we're going to have to spend the rest of the night here, unfortunately. It won't need to come to that. I think if I can find a good opening, we can force our way through. It's just a case of finding one. I don't think that's a good idea. We need to be careful and rest while we can. As logical as that sounds, I'm not buying it's a real reason. Get a grip, Shara. I can't let my emotions get the better of me. There's no guarantee we're even safe here, you know. I still think the safest option in the long run is to get to the guild no matter what we have to do to get there. Sie schon weg? Hey, where do you think you're going? Naja, also durchs Fenster raus. Über die Dächer. I think the second floor is a better place to rest than the first. We'll find it easier to escape from here than we would from below. This should be a good spot. Wait one damn minute. This is your safety we're talking about here. You could stand to listen to me. 
Those men will be patrolling carefully for the rest of the night. They aren't going to give you the opening you want, or at least I don't believe they will. We've made it this far, so I think it would be best for us to rest tonight and assume uh, trying, uh, resume trying tomorrow, don't you? Trying to do what? Pardon? You're still hiding something, aren't you? For one thing, you're awfully familiar with this city for someone who claims it's their first time here. You also seem to know a lot about those men and what they will and won't do, too. What exactly are you really after? It's plain as day at this point that you want more than just not be caught by them. If that wasn't the case, you would have asked to be shown around the capital. You wouldn't have shown, uh, asked to sh been shown around the capital. Not that I think that's what you want either. What's your real goal? Ja, was ist dein wirkliches Ziel? Well, no answer. The work we do is based around trust. We can't accept requests from people who won't tell us what they're up to, or who knows what kind of crimes we could be abetting. Go on, the whole thing about that inheritance was a big fat lie, wasn't it? Something about you'd been setting off alarms since we started, off, uh, started running around together. Strike that, since you first came to the guild. Why did you lie to me? Uh, um, the story of the inheritance is true, I swear it. I, I want to go to Granzel Castle. I really am the one to whom my grandfather gave his fortune, but I haven't finished the necessary procedures to truly inherit it yet. Until I completely uh, complete the required paperwork in Granzel Castle's administration's room, I'm not legally allowed anything. And that's why there are so many of those men in black around that area. All of my relatives know exactly what I need to do, you see. So they are trying to make sure I can't do it. Still, if I don't keep trying to move forward, I'll... What a mess. Well, okay, for our argument's sake, let's assume that I believed all of what you s just said. Why am I only hearing about it now? Hmm... Th that is... You thought I'd want on the in on that money, didn't you? If I did and I knew everything, I'd have all the opportunities a greedy girl could dream of to take it when together with you. That's what you thought I'd do, isn't it? I'd play along and then steal it all for myself the second a chance presented itself. Do I look like that much of a scumbag to you? N no, you don't. That's not it at all. After I lost Grandfather, I lived all on my own. But the second his will became public, I had crowds of people descending upon me. People who, like you said, were interested only in claiming his fortune for themselves. They all started to leave in mine and Grandfather's house, and before I knew it, my once peaceful life was shattered. One day someone would push me down the stairs, another I'd taste something funny in my food. These kinds of things began happening on a regular basis. Legally, they were my relatives while I was a minor, so there was little I could do. I tried reasoning with them at first, but in the end I had no choice but to leave home myself. I wanted the highways alone, going from place to place and trying to be dis not to be discovered. But I knew that while I could hopefully avoid being caught that way, I'd eventually just be declared as, uh, as missing and presumed dead. Besides, after I'd left once, even if I did go back home, I knew I'd promptly be lo lo locked up somewhere and reported as still missing regardless. Grandfather's will would be declared as invalid in time, and my relatives would blissfully share their newly be be credit wealth between them. I hated the thought of that happening. That was why I decided to return here to the capital. Even if it's the last thing I do, I will formally inherit what we, he wanted me to. 
Also sie will nicht das Geld, sie will einfach nur nicht, dass es die Leute bekommen, die ihr die ganze Zeit deswegen was angetan haben, weil das böse Menschen sind. That was why I decided to try and get an escort from someone I could trust. So it's not that I don't think I can trust you, not at all. And, um, I will admit that wanting to explore the capital was a lie. I am sure, sorry for deceiving you. You're a great A moron. I'm sorry. You could have said all of this from the beginning and saved us a lot headache. If I'd known what you were trying to do, I would have been able to formally escort you where you want to go. And the guild would have been the safest place for you to hide out too. We wouldn't have ended up in this dump instead. I suppose you're right. I, I was just scared. I'll never be able to forget what I saw that day. What I saw in the eyes of everyone who gathered to hear what, the, what that will read. The horror I felt when I saw it. Madness, insanity, cold, murderous light. Emotions that no one can explain. That no one can put into words. It wasn't visible for long before they managed to push it back below the surface and out of sight. But it was still there. Because now I believe that's something that all of us possess naturally. Human beings are capable of limitless cruelty. Every one of us. And that realization left me terrified of us all. It's not that I don't trust braces, it's just that I've been so scared. I'm so sorry. I know I shouldn't have wasted your time with any of this. Um, I... I should never have gotten you caught up in all of this when you were busy enough already. Just forget that I... Listen. Huh? It's my policy to give 100% to all work I undertake. Don't underestimate me. Also heißt das, du ziehst das bis zum Ende durch. Aber sie weicht deinen Blicken aus. Aha. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I've wanted to be strong and to live with my head held high. I still believe I was right to feel that way. And yes, I lived my hardest until now. But you've made me notice that there's something wrong with my attitude. I'm not going about it the right way. And it's made me realize anew that I want to be able to keep living with pride in my every step. So no more saying sorry, okay? I want to see this job through to the very end. Okay, der nächste Tag ist angebrochen. Hatte sie gesagt, sie muss es bis zum Ende des Tages geschafft haben? Oder hatte sie gesagt, dass, äh, dass sie das innerhalb von 24 Stunden schaffen muss? Weil dann hat sie vielleicht noch ein bisschen Zeit übrig. So, where was it in Granzel Castle that we need to go again? The administrative room? The deadline for submitting the paperwork is noon. Ah, mittags. N noon? Noon today? That barely leaves us any time at all. Why are you only telling me this now? It has to be filed within a month of the deceased passing away. That's the law here in Libel, apparently. All right, I never was much good at this legal stuff. I bet Kurt knows it all by heart, though. He did seem like the type who might. <laughs> Let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. As long as we do as we discussed earlier, we should be able to handle this. We're getting inside the castle and they are not going to stop us. Miss Sherazard, I really am glad that you were the one who undertook my request. The more time I spent with you, the more I realized you're really someone dependable. Who relies on their own strength to live? You're blowing my merits out of proportion, I think. Also, can we stop with the Miss Sherazad now? The way you say it, it just makes me my name sound like ridiculously long. D does it? 
It does. It feels like our conversations take twice as long as they should because of it. Well, if you insist. And now you know all there is to know about what I want to do. So, I would like to formally request again that you escort me to Grandsel Castle. You got it. You'll get there, I promise you that. Thank you. Gut, dann wollen wir mal auf zu Grandsel Castle. Also hier entlang. Oh. Are we stopping by at the guild after all? No, we don't have time for that. I doubt Kurt would be there even if uh, we, w we were to call there either, uh, given the time of day. Let's just get ourselves over to Grandsel Castle. Wieso ist das hier der South Block? Achso, wir müssen zum North Block. Direkt weiter zum North Block. Okay. Und da sehen wir schon die Typen da, ne? Mhm. <lacht> Sehr geschickt. Hm, I knew you'd come eventually. Today's the last chance after all. Ah, guck mal, da ist nur eine Katze. Miau. Wie, you're kidding me, a, a cat? Wie, die, die Katze, das ist ihre letzte Chance. No, wait a sec. There might be something else inside. Don't let your guard down. I know. There they are! Too late! Preemptive attack, nice. Komm, dann erstmal da drauf hauen. Dann macht einer wieder nichts. Shara haut nochmal auf ihn drauf, dann ist der erste schon mal weg. Shara haut auf ihn. Shara ist blind. Na super. Wie kriege ich das jetzt wieder weg? Gar nicht. Aber Shara ist nicht mehr blind. Okay. Weg mit dir. Einer greift ihn an und Shara greift ihn auch nochmal an, aber da kommt sie gar nicht ran. So, Shara hat ihre CP komplett voll. Das heißt, falls wir gleich nochmal einen etwas heftigeren Kampf haben, können wir dann äh, die S-Craft einmal reinhauen. Und wir haben nochmal zwei terra bekommen. Äh, zwei terra bekommen. This isn't good. Now's our chance, Einer. Alright. Tja, da sind noch mehr, ne? Ah, there's more of them? No. Ah, fünf Stück jetzt. Nice of you to finally show yourselves. What's the hold up? Why haven't you made an example of, the, of, of them yet? Our client's waiting. Get a move on. Tja. You're really gonna regret messing with us, kids. I hope you don't expect to just be able to walk away after showing yourselves. First I'm gonna kill you. The other young lady can live a while longer. She's still useful. As long as we can get her to write her own will, it will save us having to forge one later. You really think this will be that simple? Huh. <laughs> If you think saying that is going to unnerve us, you've got another thing coming. Uh, Aina, you can still run, right? Y yes! I'll take all of these guys on myself. While I'm doing that, you run. What? You can't take this many opponents on yourself and have any chance of winning, you'll... Ha! <laughs> Not going to beg for mercy, I take it. You've got something you need to do, and so do I. So let's just do them. Don't worry about me, as if I have any intention of dying here. What are you even talking about? Ha! But damn you! Go, Aina! But, but... I said go! You seem to be having a little trouble over there, Sherazad. It's wahrscheinlich Kurt, ne? 
What? Who the hell are you? K Kurt, what are you doing here? Kam doch noch jemand zur Hilfe. Have you forgotten that I'm affiliated with the Grants of Branch of the Guild? I see nothing odd about my presence here. Well, I know, but... I'm happy that you seem to have realized exactly what it is that you must do. But I can't say I am as pleased about how willing you appear to be to throw away your life without first exploring other options. I I'm sorry. I can't entirely fault your decision from the perspective of a bracer, but I would like you to give a little more attention to your surroundings. I'm well aware that you seem staunchly opposed to relying on others. But take a good look at the situation you're currently in, and tell me exactly it is that you sh uh, should really be doing. Kurt, can you take care of things from, from here from me? Certainly. Ah, come on, jetzt uh, summon lightning. Können wir Kurt's S-Craft? Ich glaube, die habe ich noch nie gesehen, oder? Guck mal, das war's schon. Sherazad hat auch eine S-Craft. Now, Aina! Right! They're getting away! Half of us should be enough to take care of this guy. Everyone else? Ugh. What? Sorry for the delay, Kurt. Wer ist das? Ah, irgendein Typ mit einer Axt. Not at all. I've largely taken care of them as it is. Gandalf, okay. <laughs> sure, you should do a fast work. Though, I'm more surprised to see that obstinate young lady finally came to her senses. When she was with the Zeiss branch, she was more like a wild boar, always charging forward without stopping to take a look around her. <laughs> I've always known she has what it takes to be an excellent bracer. She'd merely lost sight of something important and needed to be put back on track. Given the opportunity, she was always perfectly capable of doing so. She'll be able to get much stronger than she is now that she's righted herself. I'm sure of that. Ah, to be young again. You quit acting like we're not even here. Aber ihr seid ja auch gar nicht da. Ihr seid nur kleine Maden. Kill them both! They're sure taking their time. The hell are they even doing? No, no, there is no way to be so hasty. Capturing her isn't even necessary to the plan, as far as I'm concerned. As soon as the noon bell chimes, to true as that might be, sure, that would invalidate the will and ensure she doesn't get all of the money, but it would also mean that you have to share it with everyone else. Which means our share will end up going down. I'd kinda like to avoid that if we can. Don't you worry, we've got plenty of options. Remember, you are only dealing with a single young girl. What? Ah, guck mal. Uh, Anke? Why? Oh dear, what are you doing here, Aina? I keep telling you how dangerous it is to go venturing outside. And alone at that. You blind old man. She isn't here alone. Oh, I can see you getting in my way. Ugh. It's like they don't even care if they kill Aina in the process. Tss, tss. That wasn't a very good shot. I take it marksmanship isn't exactly your fault. Sorry, sir. Die machen wir fertig. Sherazad? What is it? Let's just force our way through here. We don't have time to mess around. Got it. It's time to come along, along home, Aina. Everyone's waiting for you, you know. So, craft. Saddest whip. Achso, das geht ja nur auf einen. Habe ich fast schon vergessen, dass es das nur auf einen geht. 
saddest rip off den Onkel. Ja, zeig deine Brüste in die Kamera und sag dabei, jemand war naughty. Damit ist der schon mal besiegt. M mein Money! Okay, als nächstes kommt der Leader an die Reihe. Attacke auf den Leader. Ich weiß, ich glaube, ich hätte den Onkel nicht töten müssen, aber... Der hätte die, glaube ich, buffen können, indem er denen Geld verspricht oder sowas. Außerdem, äh, außerdem wollte ich ihm einfach wehtun. Der hat's verdient. Terrorbomb. Komm, du heilst dich nochmal gerade. Könnt ihr aufhören, einer anzugreifen, bitte? So, dann greifst du nochmal ihn an. Charge. Ja. Einer ist tot. I can't go on anymore. Ah. Retry. Ich, ich, ich hasse das so. Craft, komm. Diesmal machen wir die Side Strip direkt auf den da. Ich kann das nicht mal überspringen, ihre S-Craft. Gut. Warum haben die eigentlich nicht verloren, sobald ich deren, äh den sie beschützen müssen, äh, besiegt habe. Guck, der, der, der pusht die jetzt. Deswegen wollte ich den eigentlich schon loswerden. Don't let them uh, leave alive. Ich lasse euch nicht alive leaven. Äh, wie heftig sind die jetzt eigentlich hochgepusht? Aber die machen trotzdem immer noch äh, genauso viel an äh, Schaden wie vorher. Gut, dann habe ich den jetzt halt leben lassen, den Onkel, auch wenn das nicht verdient hat. What is the meaning of this? I paid good Mira to hire them and this is the quality of service I receive. This has to be a breach of contract, surely. This isn't acceptable at all. I can barely bring myself to watch. I think it's time uh, you took a little nap yourself. Uh, what are you doing? I is that all you're capable of? Reckless violence? What a poor upbringing you must have had. Uncle? Dabei ist er doch derjenige, der violence benutzt. I've got no interest in inheriting gr uh, grandfather's land or his money. That's not why I've been running away from you or doing any of what I've done. But as much as I don't need it, I know I don't want you to have a single mirror of it either. I'm so sorry. Damn, that's gonna hurt in the morning. I sometimes really find myself doubting you're actually from a rich family like you say you are. How awful of you to say such a thing. I'd like to believe I act the part more than you, at least. What are you doing? What in Ida's name happened out here? You there, throw down your weapon at once. I'm from the Bracer Guild. What, the guild? S so you are. Still, what's a Bracer doing here? Her Majesty may recognize the guild, but that doesn't make it all right for you to cause a commotion like right outside the castle. I had reason to believe that these people were responsible for numerous criminal acts within the capital. I knocked them out for the sake of peace and, and order in Gransel and the safety of its people. So could you do me a favor and arrest them? I haven't covered that part yet. Well, very well. Ordinarily we'd be taking you away with us as well, but... I'll let you off this time. You know what to do. Right! Still, while you may have gotten away without punishment this time, 
Don't expect to be so lucky next time uh, you try and overreach your authority. Protecting the capital is our job and we'll show no mercy to anyone who causes trouble, brace or otherwise. Oh, it is? Cool, can I ask another favor then? There are a bunch of their friends still in the city. You could take care of those, could you? Of course, at last I saw Kurt was with them, so you probably won't have to lift a finger there either. Uh, uh. You two, follow me! So, sir! Yeah, and we müssen jetzt this castle. I never get used to dealing with the army. What? Oh, I was just impressed by how much authority the brace of batch wields. You were kind of cool. Th that was the first time I've tried using my batch like that. I'll have you know. But never mind my batch now. We're running out of time. We need to hurry. Right. Na dann, schaffen sie es noch rechtzeitig? Ich hoffe doch. Phew, we're finally here. Can't believe a girl like you could actually keep up with me running full throttle. Anyway, get that paperwork done quickly. I'll be watching from here. Okay. I'll be as quick as I can then. Das, das, wer, wer ist das, der da sitzt? Habe ich diesen Raum überhaupt je schon mal gesehen in Grantle Castle? Gibt es diesen Raum überhaupt? Dann muss sie da jetzt was unterschreiben, wahrscheinlich, ne? Einer put a signature on the necessary paperwork. I'm really happy for you, Einer. Congratulations. Ja, sie hat es geschafft, dass niemand das kriegt. Ähm, um, Sherazad? It looks like I need a witness to sign this. A witness? You wouldn't be willing, would you? Sh sure. If you're okay with me doing it. Of course I am, silly. In fact, I wanted to be you. Then I'd be happy to. Na gut, dann muss sie das auch noch unterschreiben, dass sie Zeuge davon war. I never thought the day I would, would come when I would be called as a witness for something like this. Or that the day would come when I'd be able to proudly say I was a senior bracer. Or that I would be able to feel overwhelmed with pride over something in the first place. Und das ist jetzt alles geschafft, ne? The undersigned Einer Holden shall hereby inherit the property of Saul John Holden. Uh, as outlined in uh, his last will and testament. Witness Sherazad Harvey. Thank you, Sherazad. Was hat sie mit all dem Geld gemacht? It's finally over. That's this request wrapped up, right? Actually, no, there's one more thing I need to do. We're still not done? Um, could you possibly bring me an application form? I'd like to make a donation to Her Majesty's Welfare Foundation. Jetzt spendet sie das ganze Geld für einen guten Zweck. Okay. So kann man das auch machen. Sie wollte das Geld ja nicht haben, sie wollte einfach nur, dass ihre Verwandten, die so bösartig sind, es nicht bekommen. Und dann haben sie angefangen zu saufen. Cheers! Ah. Ist Shara da überhaupt schon volljährig? Ich will es nur, nur mal gerade nachfragen. Darf sie überhaupt trinken? I still can't believe you gave all the, of that money away. Okay, maybe you don't need all of it, but you'll still need some to live, right? I suppose you're right. What I did was a little strange, but I made up my mind to do this from the very beginning as a matter of principle. When I said I didn't do any of this for the money, I meant it. Still, congratulations on becoming a senior bracer. I'm not sure what the difference between a senior and junior bracer is, but it's clear this is something you really worked for. It means I have a lot more authority, but I've got a lot more responsibility to go with it. It also means I get a nice new badge, but I wasn't ever interested in that personally. Oh, really? Yep. 
I'm relieved to hear that. Wer ist denn dieser Young Man? Kurt. Gut, habe ich mir schon fast gedacht. I see you're finally beginning to understand the necessary mindset to be a bracer, Sherazad. Crap, it's Kurt. Um, this this might look like alcohol to you, but it's actually water. Ja, ja, rotes Wasser. Wer kennt es nicht? As today is admittedly a cause for celebration, I will turn a blind eye to your drinking tonight. Just don't go drinking so much that it inter interferes with your ability to do your job. Fine. W what is it? As you're fully aware, Sherazad, you are now a senior bracer, which means you must behave with more responsibility. That means I expect to see an end to you drinking in every free moment between jobs, day or night, and sneaking out at night for it too. I also expect to no longer discover that you've been taking advantage of the busiest times in my schedule to behave like a drunken lunatic. I, uh... Is that really what you usually do, Sherazad? You sound like a tri- uh, like a tried and true troublemaker. Don't say anything. Are we clear? I yes, sir. <laughs> There's no need for the sir, of course. We're both senior bracers now, which means we're both on equal standing. Why, I'm hardly even a veteran. I'm still very much a rookie. Are you now? Says who? Regardless, this isn't what I'm here to discuss. The matter I came for concerns your uncle, Aina. I came to make you aware of the fact that the Bracer Guild is capable of asking for l leniency in his punishment. Hiring a Jäger Corps for personal use carries a very grave punishment, you see. A, a Jäger Corps? Are you referring to those men dressed in black? Yes. They are one of the many corps that are known to be active here in Liberal. Recently, there have been many such corps uh, making their way into the country, and they've been successful in finding work too. Hiring them is, of course, very illegal, but with the army as slow to act as they currently are, I've taken this chance to take care of them, though, so we shouldn't see any sign of any in the near future. To take care of them? All of them? Now it makes sense, so it wasn't a coincidence that he showed up when he did. He's been investigating all of the Jäger Corps in Libber so that he could start an operation to wipe them all out. No wonder he seemed so swamped. The Jägers in the country have been targeting wealthy individuals in hopes of getting them to sign contracts. There have been countless cases like this all around the country of late, with civilians getting caught up in it at a worrying frequently. G goodness I believe the case we're dealing with here was no exception, in that it was the Jaegers who came to your uncle rather than the other way round. It's hard to feel too much sympathy under these circumstances, but in a sense your uncle was a victim in all of this as well. Naya What? What are you trying to pull? Just because the Jaegers approached him and not the other way around, he's a victim? That he deserves to get off with a slap on the wrist? And Aina's supposed to be okay with that? He tried to kill her! Shara, please calm down. There's no need to shout. I'm sorry, but still. No one is saying he doesn't deserve to be punished for his actions. All I'm here to say is that if... And only if Aina wishes the guild is able to request leniency in his sentencing. That is all. Uh oh. Phew, you scared me for a minute. You needn't make your decision immediately. Questioning him will take roughly a week as it is, based on what I've heard. You bear no responsibility to even make any choice at all, so please don't feel as though you have to think long and hard about this. Just please be aware that the possibility of forgive him exists. That is all. Alright. Incidentally, should you ever find yourself in need of assistance with anything in the future, the Bracer Guild is always available to aid you. We are certainly not omnipotent or infallible, 
but uh, we'll at least strive to do what we can to aid those who want our help. Und wie ist sie dann da als Rezeptionistin in uh, Roland angekommen? Thank you. I'm really sorry for not telling you the whole story from the start too. Please don't be. With the situation you were in, your reluctance is quite understandable. Furthermore, one who is worthy of being a full-fledged bracer should be able to tell roughly what a client wants just from looking at them. They should also not, under any circumstances, try to chase away a potential client in genuine need. Ouch. I've still got a long way to go then, huh? Certainly, but don't we all? All right. I've said what I came to say, so I'll be excusing myself now. Oh, really? You could stand uh, to join us for the one drink? I'm afraid not. I still have my duties as guild receptionist remaining, after all. As for you, Shara, be careful you don't have too much water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Das rote Wasser. Crud, why is he always gonna be so serious? Oh, actually, weil irgendjemand muss ja auch mal was ernst nehmen, ne? How about you, Aina? Can you handle your liquor? If you can, you should join me for a few drinks. Well, all right then. Um, you sure? Really, really sure? Ja, ich dachte, sie kann noch mehr trinken als alle anderen überhaupt. Of course, you've done so much for me. So how could I refuse? Joining you for a few drinks is the least I can do. <laughs> then... Let's get to boozen, tonight's gonna be fun! Und so sind sie beste Trinkkameradin geworden. I can't wait to see what a prim and proper girl like her looks like when she's drunk out of her mind. This is going to be awesome! Well, cheers! Ich glaube, sie säuft dich unter den Tisch. Von wegen awesome. I'd seen girls just like her on the other side of that river. Silky blonde hair, beautiful blue eyes, smooth skin. The blessed, blissful children on the other side dressed like royalty and smiling angels. Seeing them, I asked myself the same question over and over again. Why aren't I on that side? I envied them. I hated them. I both longed to be one of them and rejected their very existence. I knew the answer to my question from the very beginning. I despaired in myself. I always tried to avoid others getting too close believing that to be what I needed to do in order to live. But I could never completely get rid of the tiny lingering hope deep within my heart. That eventually, no matter how long it took, the day would finally come when I could smile from the heart. That the day would come when I could, would finally be able to accept and forgive myself for how I was. The next day, Aina visited the Bracer Guild and registered her desire for her uncle to be shown leniency in his sentencing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to accompany her, having been drunk under the table by her the night before. Hab ich's doch gesagt. Ach ja. Side story client finished. Heaven's eye bekommen, sehr schön. Gut, damit hätten wir das auch geklärt. Dann können wir ja wieder äh, zurück äh, in die Base Area und wieder äh, Julia ins, mit ins Boot holen, ne? Haben ja jetzt alles im Prinzip gemacht, was wir machen können an Türen. Komm, Julia. Julia habe ich gerne im Team. Gut. So. Und wir sehen uns dann an dieser Stelle beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dann, Leute. Ciao.